What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, which I'm making late at night, I will be showing you how to connect the MPU9250 to the Arduino Nano Every to start getting values that is acceleration, gyroscopic values, and magnetometer values in real time all through I2C communication using this microcontroller. And thankfully it's very convenient for us in the Arduino IDE because there's already a built-in library that we can download through the Libraries Manager. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it real quick and just say with this diagram right here, this is pretty much all you need for the physical connection for I squared C. So if you have been working with I squared C before with other sensors, you only need four jumper wires to do that. So you need your power from VCC, as you can see up here in red, to the, to the five volts on the Arduino Nano, followed by the ground pin here, you could see to ground, which is this uh, pin here on the Arduino Nano. And I always say in all my videos, be sure not to mix up the VCC and the ground pin that could lead to uh, just catastrophic failures in your sensors and cause them to be fried. I've done that before. And if you do that on accident, you may have to end up buying another MPU 9250. Other than that, we have the SCL and SDA uh, pins here, and those are used for I squared C communication. It's okay if you mix those up, but if you do, you will get uh, errors in your code. Maybe it can't find the device and that sort of thing. So that's all you need in terms of physical setup. Now let's jump into the Arduino IDE to see what we have to do there to get set up for the code. Okay, so now that you have your physical setup, you can just go ahead and plug your device into your computer. I'm using a Mac here, and I'm gonna assume as a prerequisite you already have the Arduino ID installed. If not, you can just go do a quick Google search and download online. It is open source and free to use for everyone on any operating system. And once you are in the Arduino IDE, the first thing you want to do is we want to first um, install the board. So I'm just gonna assume that you don't have this board, that this is the first time you're perhaps using the Arduino Nano. Uh, every so just search nano and boards manager and then search um, or install arduino avr boards okay so this gives you access to i believe let's search nano again let's see what i think there's another one here oh actually you want to download the arduino mega avr boards which gives you uh, the arduino nano every board which is the one i'm using so if you are using the arduino nano every this is the boards manager you will want so just go ahead and download that that should be fairly quick and of course install the corresponding dependencies with that as well and so once you have the board what you want to do next is we want to actually connect to that actual board so we want to go up here to the tools and we want to go to board and we want to go to uh, arduino mega avr boards and arduino nano every and next thing we want to do is we want to go to the port here so we want to select the arduino nano every as you can see it found it there luckily very quickly and so now we should be connected to the board, hopefully with no hiccups there. And so once we're connected to the board, what we want to do is we want to download the Arduino or the MPU9250 library from the library manager. And there's a really nice li library by Hyde A. Kitai. Um, um, maybe I butchered his name or her name, but this library is really powerful in the sense that it allows you to quickly access uh, values from the MPU9250 with ease. And there's a lot of functions in the library and also allows you to calibrate the, the gyro and the magnetometer and it has many nice example uh, code that we will go over in this uh, th this video. So it's really a really powerful way to kickstart you using the MPU9250 with the Arduino Nano. So I already went and installed that and you will do the same. And once we do that, we're just going to open one of the examples we have there. So we, let's just go here. Let me move my head to the side there. And just go to the top and go to examples. So if you haven't seen this before, you can actually access examples from libraries you downloaded. And it's pretty convenient because it gives you a nice way to start right away with sensors such as the MPU9250 and other sensors. So let's just go down. And what it's saying is, um, let's see, MPU9250 down here. So what we want to do is let's do simple. Okay, let's just do a simple example. So this is a simple example. I think that this one just reads the values. So what's, what's going on here in the simple example? Yeah, it's just getting the yaw, the pitch, and the roll. So that's pretty cool. What we can also do is I have the uh, the library code I found online. There's other functions you can do as well. So one thing we're going to do here is we're going to get the magnetometer in the X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to copy that. And we're just going to print those values. So I'm just going to copy that into here. And how you get the magnetometer value is you just do mpu.getmagx. Yeah, you could delete this. And then and we could do the same for the other ones. Let's do mag y. I believe those. I don't know why I did it like that. And then this.
and I guess we'll just serial print that just for the sake. We don't want to make it fancy right now. Let's just do serial print those values. And we'll do to two points like this. Um, I could have copied this better and sorry guys for the sloppiness. It is late at night here. So I am slightly slow, but I thought I'd make this video for you guys to share this because uh, I, I heard some people are having issues with the sensor with uh, Arduino. So I thought I'd make this video real quick. So now we should print, I should be print LN. Let's do print LN. So now we should be able to upload this if we did everything correctly. Hopefully we did. And it finds the, the MPU 9050. Let's go ahead and upload this. See what happens. There's always an issue the first time. Okay, of course, semicolon. I'm used to MicroPython because I've been on the, the Raspberry Pi Pico wave. So uh, it's some, sometimes you get this error. That's not really an error, so that's fine. What we're going to do is if it finishes uploading successfully, we just want to go to the serial monitor and it should show with a mag X, mag Y, and mag Z. So give it a sec there. Bear with me a little more. So it's done uploading, so hopefully no errors. And let's go to, let's see, it's on uh, baud rate 11520. So let's go to serial monitor here. And we could see that it's really quickly, I mean, maybe I could have added a pause, but it is printing the values as expected. And we are getting uh, yaw pitch and we are getting the magnetometer values, which is the main reason why people actually buy the sensors because over a regular MPU 6050, this sensor actually has a magnetometer, which you can use to create a simple compass and do other cool things with this MPU 9050, which makes it more powerful than the regular MPU 6050. So I hope you guys got the gist of using the MPU 9250 in your Arduino projects using the Arduino Nano Ever. You can see it's very simple with this library. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching, everyone.